I'm home! Yeah! <laughs> What's this? Our hero's father is home at last? Can it be? Let's jump back a few days. A perfectly ordinary morning, Princess Candy is haggling over some shoes. I'll give you 50 dreckles. 60. 70. 80. 90. Deal. <laughs> Wait a second. Fang is beating up a cabbage. That'll warn you. And Dave is, is... What are you doing? I invented a way to make drawings move. Isn't it neat? I call it a flippy doodle. The chappers. Dave, Throctor and Glimmier are on the crystal ball. Yay! Hi, Mom and Dad! How's fighting evil going? Did you buy me anything? Hi, kids. We're at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. We're fighting an evil giant clam. There it is. Well, it was acting really evil just a minute ago. So you guys must have fought all the evil in the world by now, right? Actually, yes. This is the last place in the whole world we have to fight evil. So you'll be home soon? Well, unfortunately, some new evil has popped up way back in the first place we fought evil. So darned if we don't have to start all over. What? We're sorry, kids. We really do miss you very much. We miss you, too. Yeah. Well, bye-bye. We'll be back as soon as we've defeated all the evil in the world. Again. They're never coming back. Yes, Dave and Candy are upset. But Fang... Fang is inconsolable. There, there, honey. They'll be home someday. Someday? I've been hearing that forever. Someday? Well, I want them back now. I miss them. I miss Mom telling me not to bite the heads off stuff. I miss Dad yelling, who got jelly on my best bad luck? I miss Mom and Dad and I want them back. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, in the Mountains of Doom, a discovery is made by the Dark Lord Chuckles the Silly Piggy. <laughs> At last, I have found the Emerald Skull of Achube! Legend has it that the skull is a source of tremendous power and that it can give you rock-hard abs in only three minutes a day. <laughs> Wait a second. I know that smell. It's the infamous Malediction de Fromage. Whoever touches the skull first will be turned to solid cheese. Well, that's what evil lackeys are for. Oh, evil lackeys! <laughs> oh, that's the thanks I get for giving them full dental coverage. Later, back in Chuckles' evil fortress. Who can I get to grab the emerald skull for me? Who? 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 I know. Mirror, mirror on the wall! Who can I get to grab that skull? You call that a rhyme? Give me a break, I've had a hard day. What do you have to complain about? I'm stuck in this taggy frame. And look at me, I'm just a face. I don't even have a neck. What if I want to wear a scarf, man? I'm out of luck, aren't I? Just answer my question. Yeah, all right, be howled. Ah, oh, those wretched barbarians who thwart and vex me at every turn! How can I possibly convince them to? I was getting to it. Behold again. We all miss Mom and Dad, Fang. But they'll come back someday. Really. Leave me alone. <laughs> of course! I can't convince them to get the skull, but their father can! <laughs> Ooh, I'm so muscly! The next day, our heroes are trying everything to cheer Fang up. Oh, Fang, I wrote you a pleasing song of joy. I had a dream about some shrieking rats with red hot pokers and big pointy hats. They didn't listen to my cries and sc Your harsh criticism wounds me. Okay, Fang, I have something you're really going to like. Compared to that song, a root canal would be a treat. I have created your own personal <laughs> Flippy Doodle! While I flip the doodles, Candy and Uncle Oswich will provide music and sound effects. Ready? We now present The Adventures of Fang! I'll moidalize you!
If that didn't cheer her up, I don't know what will. I'm home! Yay! And here we are, right back at the beginning. Well, carry on. <laughs> Where's Mom? I, um, she'll be here in a couple of days. She's, uh, parking. Oh, my gosh! Yes, everyone is happy to have Fraktar back. But soon, certain things make our hero suspicious, such as his peculiar statements. At last, Udra got his mind to command! His maniacal cackling. <laughs> and of course, his aversion to pork sausages. <laughs> Before long, the last straw comes when Fraktar announces... We must steal the Emerald Skull of October! What? But you were the one who hid it and said it must never be found. Uh, yes, of course. Don't you think I know that? What do you think? I'm an evil piggy in disguise or something? <gasps> because I'm... I'm... I'm not. So, you're an imposter! How dare you question Dad! Fang, he's obvious! I wanted him back and he's back and that's final! But... Guards! Fang! Thanks, sweetie. I didn't even know we had guards. They mostly just do light housekeeping. Take them to the dungeon! At least you trust me, Claw. Bang. Whatever. Now come, let us steal the Emerald Skull of Akshube! Moments later in the dungeon, our heroes are already planning their escape. Once we dig our way to New Zealand... We'll make our way to Taiwan disguised as giant cactuses. Cactuses? What could be simpler? This could. I always leave a key under the mat. Mm. I like our giant cactus plan better. Me too. Start shoveling. Later in the Mountains of Doom. Behold, the Emerald Skull of Akshube! Neat! Hey, can we go get ice cream and smash monsters? Sure thing, sweetie. It sure is great to have you back. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, how about you grabbing that old skull for your daddy, huh? Uncle Oswich said whoever touches it first is gonna turn into cheese. Oh, um, uh, uh, uh. Oh, don't worry. I know you'd never ask me to do anything dangerous, Dad. Oh, look at that. A little girl walking off to her doom for the love of her father. It's almost enough to melt a poor old villain's heart. But not quite. Get the skull, sugar! Stop! Don't touch it! Ignore him! Grab the skull! No, Fang! No! Do it! Don't do it! 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 I'm with you, Dad! <laughs> That's a good little monkey! Upon being called a monkey, Fang at last sees the awful truth. This is not her father. Not a monkey! Great! Now I'm cheese! You know what? This actually isn't so bad! I'm sorry, guys. I just wanted Mom and Dad back so bad. It's okay, Fang. We want him back, too. I was so happy when Dad showed up. And now... And now... He'll come home, honey. They both will. I know it's hard to wait, but I promise they'll come home. And until then, I know a way you can feel like they're home already. Don't you dare bite the head off that bug, young lady. Sorry, Mom. Who got jelly on my best battle axe? Sorry, Dad. Oh, I can't stay mad at you, sweetie. Neither can I. Later on, we'll go get ice cream and smash monsters. Okay, sugar? of Udragath are empty. What could be the cause? A mysterious curse? A fiendish monster? Alien abductions? No, it's the annual Udragoth versus Hyragoth Plunderball game. Plunderball! 
The object? To score points by stealing balls from the other team's castle and bringing the plunder home. And Udragoth might actually win this game once in a while. If the Hyrogoth team weren't made up entirely of giant zombies. Fortunately, the Udragoth team has a top-notch coach. Go team! Oh dear. But how did the unsporty Dave become coach? Well, just yesterday, both teams' coaches were mysteriously turned to corn chowder. Hey, Udragoth, we're gonna kick your patooties tomorrow! Oh yeah? Well, probably! Mmm, tastes like coach. Is there a connection between this chowder most foul and the laughter coming from the castle of evil Princess Ermoplots? Whoa! <laughs> Corn chowder! <laughs> I crack myself up. According to ancient law, the replacement coach must be the king's eldest son. But that's Dave. Yay! He can't be the coach! He doesn't know anything about plunder ball! I do too! It's a Swedish dessert. We're doomed. We were already doomed. We haven't won a game in 500 years. Yeah, but this year we have merchandise. Get your plunder ball merchandise. We got solid granite. We're number one fingers. We got it's okay to lose big tab t-shirts. We got uh, well, noise makers. <laughs> Step on up. Well, looks like you're the coach. Go team. Go team. Yay, plunger ball. That's plunder ball. Don't care. But little do you know, Dave, that I will be coaching the Hyragoth team. <laughs> My evil daughter a coach? I want an explanation, and it had better be bad! You remember the barbarian I went out with? The cute one who made me this ducky quilt? <laughs> this is the perfect way to destroy him and humiliate him for dumping me! Meanwhile, Coach Dave takes his team through a rigorous training regimen, including macrame, maple dances, la, 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 la. but the most grueling exercise of all is listening to Dave's team spirit song. Spirit, spirit, spirit! A six-letter word for hooray! It isn't whether you win or lose, it's how you play, play, play! Go team! Looks like someone needs a whiff of my team spirit cupcakes. Uh, Each one has the individual player's uniqueness baked right in. If we win, you can each have one. You call that coaching? That ain't gonna help. Oh, no? Those cupcakes smell delicious. I'm gonna play extra hard so I can get one, man. Arr, I'm gonna give 110%. I hate you so much right now. It's a beautiful day for Plunderball, sports fans. The Udragoth team is doing some unusual warm-ups. Party kick, party kick, maker's man! Can we win this? Yes, we can! And the Hyrigoth team is getting itself together. Arm, arm, leg, head. This day has been marked by controversy as barbarian parents protest the game's lack of violence. More violence now! More violence now! But here inside, the fans are as ready as ever. We're number one! I have a good feeling about this game, Lula. Then I guess you haven't seen who's coaching Hyrogoth. The Jabbers! <laughs> Evil Princess Armaplots! Is my hair okay? How do I look? Dashing, yet not without a certain jejun insouciance? You look like somebody shaved a baboon and stuffed its arms full of watermelons. Truly, Dave has reason to fear. For Armoplots employs the most evil of all teenage tactics. She whispers to her friend, and they laugh while pointing right at Dave. <laughs> She's pointing at me. <laughs> Hermo Plotz's fiendish act of adolescent mockery reduces Dave to a useless, gibbering blob. Their coach incapacitated, the Udragoth team fares worse than ever before. This is a bad start for Udragoth. The Hyrogoth team is plundering balls by the arm call, and it's stole 32 balls. Hey, ref, illegal use of the head. All right, which one of you 
through his head. Get you proud to be a worthless loser, T-shirts. Today only one for the brass of two. Dave, are you even watching this game? The madcap game of love gone awry? <laughs> I can handle that. And they'll hate macrame and maple dances! Ah! There are many things I can tolerate. People who say groceries instead of groceries. That one piece of meatball you find on every pizza, no matter what kind it is. I don't like meatballs. I don't! But there's one thing I cannot put up with. Anything that would harm the public's opinion of macrame and maple dances! What's going on? With his newfound desire to win, Dave does the one thing that all coaches dream of doing. He enters the game himself. Go, Dave! And when Ermelplot sees this... So that's how you want to play it, huh? Ladies first. Why, thank you. Hey, no fair! of my good manners, will you? You must pay! Evil Princess Irma Potts. No hard feelings? No hard feelings. Okay, zombies, destroy Udragon! You said no hard feelings! About the game. But I'm still gonna obliterate your land and all you love because you dumped me! Well, fair enough. <laughs> I'm going to write an absolutely scathing letter to you. Dave! Ah! You have to protect your loved ones, your family, your home, your... Cupcakes! My cupcakes! I cannot stand idly by and let innocent fake goods come to harm. What are you going to do, Dave? Do? I'm going to... Coach! Huddle up! Like a well-oiled machine, the team puts Dave's cunning plan to work. Combining their finely honed macrame skills with the lively art of maple dancing. La, la, la. Swiftly, our heroes spin a mighty macrame web around the zombies. Within moments, they are hog tied like so many tied hogs. Are tied. Keep up that grumbling and no cupcakes for you. My friends, victory never tasted so sweet. <laughs> Dave, for defeating my zombies, your cupcake is. Bravest pastry I've ever known. <laughs> Go on, finish him off. He'll make a lovely statue for the pool area. I. I can't. Dave, why didn't she destroy you? Better that she had destroyed me and spared my poor cupcake. Okay. How much of a freak are you? Get your Dave's a freak t shirts. Step on up. Irma Plot, have you forgotten everything Mama has taught you about bad sportsmanship? I'm sorry, Mom, but when I saw his love for that cupcake, I, I just couldn't do it. Curse you, Dave the Barbarian. Curse your male sensitivity so uncommon in these barbaric times. Curse Oh, that has got to be all kinds of painful. You said it! It's nearly time for some Hakuna Matata with those grub grabbers Timon and Pumbaa, next on Disney Cinemagic. They just love bugs! 